Resting Metabolic Rate, or RMR, provides valuable information for you and your client. RMR measures exactly how many calories their body burns, not including exercise, on a given day. This is measured in calories per day, or kcals per day. Resting metabolic rate is the number of calories required to maintain basic life functions such as brain activity, heart and lung function, tissue growth and repair, and internal organ functions. In general, you should not consume fewer calories than your resting metabolic rate requires. Otherwise, you are sacrificing critical nutrients for your body, and your body will decrease its resting metabolic rate in order to maintain the basic life functions. Resting metabolic rate typically accounts for 60 to 75 percent of total energy requirements for a generally healthy individual. This can be as high as 90 percent in a completely sedentary individual that engages in no physical activity. Conversely, even when Lance Armstrong is climbing the Pyrenees during La Tour de France, his resting metabolic rate still accounts for at least 60% of his total energy expression. It is important to note that RMR is never less than 60% of any individual's total caloric needs. But, to determine a client's total recommended daily intake of calories, you need to apply a lifestyle correction factor. This calculates the total number of calories the client can eat per day without gaining or losing weight. The lifestyle correction factor is based on the client's occupation or activities of daily living and does not include exercise or any activity outside of lifestyle. Individuals make adjustments to their daily dietary intake and exercise caloric expenditure to reach their goals. If the goal is weight loss, a client should have a negative energy balance. If the goal is weight gain, the client should have a positive energy balance. The key to weight management is RMR, which provides the foundation for nutrition and exercise plans. RMR is a dynamic number and is impacted by several factors. Most people believe that age is a primary factor in changing their metabolism. While RMR values will slow with age, they won't change that much. The actual change in resting metabolic rate associated with age is about 2% per decade. So from the age of 20 to the age of 70, an individual loses about 10% of their resting metabolic rate as a result of the aging process, which is not a significant number. Most changes occur due to caloric restriction or changes in body composition, exercise, activity level, and hormones. Swings of 15-30% to 30 from baseline RMR measurements are typical. There are certain